The oil samples that we are going to use in today's experiment are olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, sunflower oil and corn oil. to this we will be using standardized solution of NaOH, a neutralized solvent in this case it is ethanol and phenophthalein as an indicator. Other equipments required for the experiment are burette, burette stand, conical flask and hot plate. The sample that we have chosen today is corn oil. So we will accurately weigh 5 grams of corn oil in the conical flask. For this we will press tear and we will make it zero. Now we are going to put 5 grams of oil in the conical flask. We will adjust the weight so that we can have exactly 5 grams of the oil sample. Record the weight which you can see over here it is exactly 5 grams of the uh, oil sample. You can see we have weighed exactly 5 grams of the oil sample. Record the exact weight of the sample. In order to perform the experiment, we will fill burette with the standardized solution of NaOH. In our case, we have standardized the NaOH solution and it is found to be 0.1 M. To the weight amount of the oil sample, 5 grams of oil sample, we are going to add a neutralized solvent, ethanol in this case. We will be adding 50 ml of the neutralized solvent. We have taken 50 ml of neutralized solvent in the graduated cylinder and this we will pour in the conical flask containing the oil sample. In order to prepare for the experiment, we have filled the burette with standardized NaOH solution. Place the conical flask on the hot plate and add to it 1 to 2 ml of phenophthalein indicator. Allow the solution to warm up to 40 degree so that the solvent and the oil mixes together. Add the standard alkali solution to the conical flask and keep it shaking gently till a pale pink color appears. At the end point, a faint pink color will appear that will show the end point of the titration. What you should notice is that the pink color should remain for 30 seconds or more. As you can see in the sample, a pale pink color is appearing which you can also test it by putting on a white tile. As you can see, uh, the buret reading is showing. 0.7 ml for the sample of corn oil. We have to repeat the titration 
till you get concordant readings in our case we got again 0.7 ml which is same as previous and therefore we will use this uh, volume for the calculation another sample that we have taken for today's experiment is coconut oil to this coconut oil sample we will add 50 ml of neutralized solvent which is ethanol neutralized ethanol in our case now we are going to place this mixture on the hot plate coconut oil and neutralized solvent mixture is placed on the hot plate and now we are going to add the indicator phenolphthalein to this sample around 1 to 2 ml of phenolphthalein indicator will be added add 1 to 2 ml of phenolphthalein indicator and shake the solution so that all the things mix together and start your titration with the standardized alkali solution you have to do the titration till you get a pale pink color at the end point of the titration keep shaking it gently as you can see the pink color is becoming more persistent shake it gently and you will get pink color at the end point of the titration pink color is observed at the end of the titration and now we are going to record the burette reading the next sample that we are going to use is that of the olive oil we have weighed 5 grams of olive oil in this conical flask to this we are going to add 50 ml of the neutralized solvent which is ethanol after adding 50 ml of solvent we are going to place this conical flask on the hot plate as you can see we have placed the conical flask in the on the hot plate and now we are going to add phenolphthalein indicator to it around 1 to 2 ml of phenolphthalein indicator will be added to this conical flask swirl the mixture and start the titration drop wise add the standardized alkali solution add the alkali solution drop wise and wait for the appearance of a persistent pink color a persistent pink color which is pale shows the correct end point of the titration appearance of a pale pink color which is persistent indicates end point of the titration record the burette reading you have to repeat the titration for two concordant readings which are either same or in a gap of 0.1 ml 